Right, here we go. Got my uh, my paint in there. Gonna splash it on the underside, see how that looks, and um, go from there. So this is my my underside. Oh, I better turn the compressor on the night. What a knob. I've got to plug it in. Right, here we go then. So spray the undersides. As you can see, I've stuffed a little bit of the old uh, tissue paper in to the uh, wheel wells. Oh, well, that's covering nicely. Of course, you can't see a thing and my, my camera's now gonna be covered. So yeah, here we go. Nice cheap airbrush this. Didn't cost me much. My first ever airbrush. And actually, I'll, I'm, it's the first time I've done an aeroplane. I'm actually really enjoying discovering and using it and learning it. So yeah, job done. There you go. So that's the underside of the wing spray. That looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty even. Just going to flip them over just so that I can cover underneath there as well. God oh, blimey, Governor. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say I'm happy with that result. Lovely. So with the fuse large, that's got a little bit of weight to it. So that won't get blown everywhere and I can keep hold of it. What I've done here, okay, obviously this bit is where the glue's gonna go. So I don't really want paint on that. So I put a bit of masking tape, so I'm just doing this side. And these bits, I've turned the masking tape upside down, stuck the little flaps and ailerons on, and then I've stuck them down with some masking tape there. So I'll be able to blow that over with the airbrush without it blowing them all over the place. So we're ready to start on that now. Ooh, these are bad. So I started on the props, ready to paint them, and they're really bad. That has worn out that mould indefinitely. They're really rough, really crappy. They're not. They're not good at all. They'll do. I mean, once they're painted, they'll look good enough. But yeah, they're not. They're not up to scratch. So that you can see where the um, kit has aged quite badly over time. Otherwise, everything else seems pretty okay, to be honest. So I've now got to camouflage the upper surfaces of the tailplane and the wings and those uh, engines. So um, I've just popped the engines on, pushed them on. They're not stuck on yet. Um, put a bit of tape on. I'm now going to airbrush that with the first colour, which is brown. They are looking pretty decent to me. Good coverage flat yeah looking all right not perfect this is the first time i've done something large and flat like that i've got a bit of overspray underneath the bottom of the tail plane on that side and on that side but that's fine i can deal with that it looks like there's a couple of splats but they're they're very minor i'm sure i can sort them out so i'm going to go and take that outside into the fresh air and the sunlight so that can dry off and harden off what I then need to do is delineate on my um, camouflage to put the green areas on there. But yeah, in, in general, I'm pretty happy with that. Right, going to hit the fuselage now. Obviously, I've got the uh, light green underneath. Now I want the camouflage pattern. So this has been made with an edging of blue tack. And then just to cover the bits below that, there's masking tape, so you can see. So I'll spray onto that and that'll give me my curves for the camouflage pattern. Mmm. Trannies. Transparencies. Those are the four for the nose. Two this side. Two the other side. So I've got to pop them in. So I've got to put a little bit of, um, what should we call it, glue in there. And I've got to drop them in. This is not my most skillful area. Just got to try not to get it fogged. Actually, that was all right. They dropped into place nicely. So that's good. So I put a little bit. Look, that looks terribly untidy and horrible, but you're not going to see it. That's fine. That's where the uh, liquid poly has crinkled up the uh, airbrush paint. So what I did was I put a little bit initially on there and then i dropped them into place and then i put some more around it and that flows around which is quite nicely looks a bit neater there i've popped my um echo in so my pilot and my bottom aim and navigate not sure exactly i had missed that piece that little gray piece so that's going to get a little bit of paint on before i stick the two halves together so that's stuck in so they're ready to go so that's actually looking 
like we're almost there to stick together so i'll pop a bit more around the gun turret and make sure everything's in there tomorrow but for now everything's good so i'll just give it a little press now to make sure that when it dries and hardens off the glue that is they'll be stuck in it's good it's looking good Right, final prep for sticking the two halves together tomorrow. If you have a look, you've got nice clear edges. I've just run over with a bit of sandpaper, okay, just lightly to take off the overspray. So these halves will stick together because if there's paint there, it doesn't stick nicely, okay? The polystyrene cement doesn't like it. So we're good to go on that, I think now. So I'm going to leave that all to dry off until tomorrow because I've got other stuff to do. But yeah, I'm happy so far. Might look a pile of shit when it's put together, but for now it's looking all right. Brief interlude, so I've just whipped the blue tack off so that I can uh, tape the two halves together or whatever. I just thought I'd check out where I'd sprayed it. Now, on the whole, it ain't too bad. There's more overspray than I'd have expected, to be fair. And there's a couple of gaps like there and there however one thing i've noticed and this is something i need to be careful of where i've laid it on a bit thick here or it's run that that's quite thick there so there's an uh, there's a proper demarcation see this looks okay that's demarcated okay but this is like a lot thicker a lot more layers so um that's something to be careful of now i can probably smooth that down in some way tomorrow on the whole i'm quite i'm quite pleased with how the blue tacking has has done see that i can i can touch up and so on afterwards so yeah, it's looking okay well it's not loving going together so there does seem to be some warpage so i've got a little bit of gap on the top of the fuselage which can have to have some filler in the wings is a slight gap that's not too bad the wing roots it's easy to fill there's a bit of a gap down the bottom so can't press the stuff together beautifully but we're getting it so a little bit of sanding and filling hopefully we'll get that but it's not too bad it's fairly acceptable i've just had to press quite firmly top and bottom to get things to go together and hopefully once that dries there will be enough kind of glue there to allow me to get the filler in and on but other than that it's not looking too bad i think we can cope with that here we go well the top side looks reasonably okay um just scrape down slightly with a scalpel just just a tiny amount of filling and shaping needing to be done the bottom side is a little bit worse so the rear of the fuselage half is okay I suppose but uh, got to put a fair bit of filler there so I'm gonna gonna fill that now with my Mr. Surfacer 1200 um, and let that dry and then I can sand that properly and then we can hit it with some more paint all right time to let all that filler dry and then we can blast a bit of paint over yay that'd be good filled sanded masked blanked off ready to do a top coat of the brown again yeah that's looking okay still not 100 percent over the moon with the um top join of the fuselage ignore those two holes that's where aerials and stuff going well i've applied the blue tack this is ready for me to do my camo pattern never done this before i'm hoping it's going to look good i can't really visualize it if i'm off if i'm completely honest but uh we're gonna give it a go well seeing as the sun is shining weirdly um i've brought the uh, the green painted camouflaged green blue tacked um Hudson out to dry in the sun I can't wait to peel that off and see how it looks hopefully it's going to be really good but that's putting a lot of confidence in my abilities especially trying something I've never tried before I just need a little bit of paintbrush touch up but it's been good so far okay so blue tacks off 
masking tape is off. There's a few bits that need obviously touching up with paint. Overall, I think it's quite effective. It's worked out okay. Um, some areas, there we go, that's not focusing, but let's see what we can get. Yeah, you can see where the blue tack has given, uh, lifted up a bit and, and allowed a bit too much feathering, should we say, overspray. A lot of it's okay. We can tidy that up with a paintbrush. There's particularly bad. But uh, overall, that's looking pretty decent. I can work with that. Well, a bit of prodigious touching up on the edges. You can see where it is at the moment because it hasn't dried. Generally looking good. The engines are mostly done. The props are sprayed. The wheels are sprayed. Uh, what I do need to do is obviously put some green on those engine cowlings. Uh, where there's green on those because they're currently brown and yellow on the tips so yeah it's it's coming along nicely i'm still not happy with that join at the top on the fuselage i will have to do something about that before i um <laughs> call it complete so when this is all completely dried and hardened off then i'm going to have to smooth that again and see what i can do but on the whole, if I get up above, that's looking pretty good. Except for that join there. There we go. Smooth, sanded, bit of brushwork, vastly improved. Doesn't look perfect, but it looks very good. Very good indeed. Happy that.